Hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, Prosolis. Look, Prosolis, I dressed up for the occasion. <laughs> I made sure that I am uh, a little bit uh, prim and proper <laughs> for this special night. <laughs> Let me just check the volume, volume. <laughs> How is everyone doing? How are you? How are you? I'm really quiet. Okay. I'm really quiet. There we go. <laughs> there you go. How's that? Took an hour nap. Hello, hello. There we go. Hi, Pro Solace. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I'm still getting used to this new piece of equipment. <laughs> All right, wait a minute. There you go. Much better. <laughs> um, let's see. How are you doing, Prusolis? Oh my god. I spent most of the morning and early afternoon to edit a certain special video dedicated to you, Prusolis. And I, I would say... <laughs> And I would say the rest of the string is... Oh, Prasolis, this is a medium. New Baroque! What's up? <laughs> Hello, Raiders. I was just explaining... I was just explaining to Prasolis that I... I just edited a special tribute video that I think I will play it twice tonight. I will play it right now immediately because we have so many friends right here. And Pro Solis is here and I really appreciate your time, uh, Pro Solis, because I know you are a very, 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 very busy person. And uh, <laughs> I like to make most of your time while you're here. <laughs> but without further ado, thank you so much, Nick, for your raid. New Baroque, of course, check out New Baroque because New Baroque is... New Baroque is an amazing violin player, and he just raided us tonight. Nick is also, of course, an, a wonderful, wonderful supporter of our community. And all of the, uh, all, all, of all, <laughs> of all, Twitch music community. One, two, three. All, all. There we go. <laughs> I, th I thought I lost my reverb. Thank you so much for, for saying that, uh, <laughs> Yara. I did dress up for the occasion because it is Pro Solis night. So it should be. I should be fine and dandy. Because Pro Solis is fine and dandy himself. And thank you, Pro Solis, for gifting a sub to Agent Dave and Sonny's mom, Viv. All right, chat. Let us open. Let us open tonight with a 12-minute tribute video that I edited especially for you, ProSolis. Are you ready, chat? Are you ready with me to watch this special tribute video? Special tribute video, 12-minute, maybe some sort of documentary? I don't know. But by the way, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day, ProSolis, I hope. The princess, the young princess, is doing very well. <laughs> Are you all ready? All right. So, chat, tonight, we have two parts of the stream. The first part is, of course, the amazing tribute video for Prozolis. I, I don't know if it's amazing, but Prozolis, you are amazing. And that's why I made this tribute video for you. She is very well, thank you. Same to you, SVG. Oh, thank you so much, Prozolis. So, chat... Just for context and for later, we c you, you can all use this command, exclamation palace. So if anyone comes in late during the musical part of our stream, you can use this command to give them some, uh, some context. So yeah, all right, let's watch. I will watch with you. I will shift the stream to picture in picture mode while we watch this tribute video for pro Solis, i hope you enjoy it pro Solis, because uh oh man 
I really, <laughs> I, I, I would think just, just for some funny backgrounder, if there was a time that I regretted streaming eight hours, 10 hours, today was that time. Because, oh my God, it took so much scrolling very slowly to look for parts of my old streams where I was talking about the Viper and talking about Prosolis. <laughs> this is the only time. But anyway, let's go. Let's go. Prosolis hype. Can, ple can we please all spam all the lovely hype emotes for Prosolis? Prosolis, 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 Prosolis. <laughs> Hype, 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 hype. Everyone, please spam all the hype. Spam all the hype. Pro Solis. Pro Solis. <laughs> all right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, also, also, Chocolate gets uh, a special mention in some of the, <laughs> in some of the video. <laughs> all right. I'm going to turn off my mic and I'm going to continue talking to you via chat while we're watching the video so you can watch it without audio interruptions here we go let me let me prepare it <laughs> yeah look at all those hypes for you prosolis you deserve all this love prosolis you deserve all the love you're such an amazing part of the community not just an amazing part of the community you are an amazing humongous pillar of the community so yes Let's go. Whew. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. It's time. It's time. It's time. All right. I'm going to mute myself. I'm going to mute my mic. And here we go. Oh, by the way, a little channel announcement. Uh, if you can see, I have two uh, event goals right here. And one of it is short term, one of it is long term. So the long term goal is uh, a tip goal, which will last six months until my birthday, May 4th. But if we fulfill it, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna buy my dream violin, which I will begin to use on streams if we uh, uh, ever achieve that. And my dream violin is shaped like this, my necklace. It's shaped like a flying V, and it's a Mark Wood Viper violin. That is my dream electric violin. I can dream, right? <laughs> and Chocolate knows this, because he has one. Let me resize it. There it is. That is, that is my dream violin. It is a, an electric violin that has no need for a chin rest, because it has a very unique strap system where you don't actually need to pinch it with your neck anymore. Thanks to the Viper, I can play as long as I like. <laughs> Burned! <laughs> that was a Slayer kind of roast. <laughs> Chocolate, oh my god. Oh my god, you are making me even more tempted to just go ahead and buy one. But you know, I will let my Twitch viewers decide for now and this is my dream violin the viper mark wood electric violin i am saving up for a viper violin it's it looks amazing it looks like this let me show you bam i've heard i've read some stories of other violinists quitting quitting violin playing because they they suffered prolonged uh, nerve damage or spinal damage from prolonged use of uh, their neck in sporting the violin. I also want this violin not only because it's cool, but also because it's a healthier option. And to answer your question, my dream violin is this. It is called a Viper Violin. Chat, I want to give a shout out by replaying this amazing alert. Let me show you right now, this alert. Ready, ready, ready? This happened four days ago by our pro salad, pro solid champion. Here we go. There we go. Pro solis. 
tip $750. That was part of this uh, dream violin fund right here. But yes, and just so you know, is that, is that a replay? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's not a replay chat. <laughs> what? What? Whoa! Look at that! <laughs> what? 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 What the heck? What the heck? What? 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 What the heck? What? What? What, what is? <laughs> what the heck? Woo! What? I have just one question for you, Pro Solis. With everyone in this music community that you've helped very much, including myself and our friends, Miyazuko, Alud, Eleniza, and I don't know who else that you've been helping. You're amazing. You're a total champion. But I have this one question to ask of you. Will you please finally request a song for me to play for you? <laughs> the Dream Violin, aka The Viper. Yesterday, yesterday, I officially placed the order. Hopefully, I will be getting it in two to three weeks. We met the goal three streams ago. Because a very, very, very generous man over here named Pro Solis decided to tip me $1,500 in two gives, like $750 while I was offline. And then another $750 when I was online live for my first stream on 2021. And in one fell swoop, bam, $2,195. Tip goal completed. Right? Like that. I ordered the violin already and hopefully it arrives in two to three weeks. Thank you again, Pro Solis. And Pro Solis is, of course, on permanent priority request status. And I'm still waiting for the Viper. They told me it's gonna arrive in two to three weeks because they still haven't sent me my pre ordered Viper. I'm getting this soon. Hopefully soon. <laughs> this baby is arriving hopefully this week or next week. Finally, I got the email from FedEx that it's supposedly arriving today. Not hoping anymore. Oh my god, it's lagging. <gasps> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> changing the delivery date but it also gets updated on what's happening right now it's still in north carolina do you see that do you see that <laughs> it's finally here what's the full name of the viper it's gonna be just simply solis what's in the box hey muses <laughs> hey Vibe, hype! <laughs> yeah! Woo! Hype! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Madden! <laughs> Viper Bunny Chocolate! Viper Bunny! Oh my god! Hype! Hype! I'm just gonna be screaming ah! all night tonight. How did this Viper Violin came to be my dream violin? I've always been a metalhead or technically grunge head growing up in the 90s. So I love the imagery of the flying V. I love the imagery of that kind of a guitar. Early 2000s, I was starting to become more and more fond of electric violins after playing acoustic violins for the longest time. But then, sadly, the Viper was too expensive for me at the time. I was still living in the Philippines and these fancy electric violins, these are not being sold officially in the Philippines. So yeah, it was pretty much an unreachable item for me unreachable because it's so expensive it takes too long 
And then, if I buy it normal way, I'm gonna pay a fortune in taxes. So, that's why I call it a dream violin, because it was, for the longest time, it's just something I could have in my dreams. In your dreams, Diwa! In your dreams, SPG! This has been going on in my head for like 10 years. 10, 15 years, I've been dreaming about this violin. I've been dreaming of having it. I've been dreaming of using it. I haven't even seen one in person ever. This is the first time ever I'm gonna be able to hold one. To see one with my own eyes, not on a screen. Tonight is that exact moment when the dream transitions to reality in one fell swoop. You made this possible. Y you and Prosolis made this possible. We work on this together. So we all deserve to see it together for the first time. Viper Tippers, I want to recognize those who made this possible. From top to bottom, Michael Hobblesberger, another Inu fan, aka Maya, Gunlap, aka Eman, my friend from uh, in real life, Sel Yamos, Hedekins, Vladislav, Geeky Tiki, Parlnok, Strange Zealous, one waifu to rule them all. Chocolate! Turco Machine. Sayuri. Luke Konopka. Foxy. Lady Bacon. Recorder Guy. Expletive. Chi Obsidian. Payel81. Steven Morales. Screen Puncher Games. Jedi Amanda. Crystal Cat. Honey Pots Art. Elysian Peace. And Fong Thong. And of course, who else? Who else is the Viper Champion? The one and only Prosolis. Prosolis single-handedly completed the tip goal. The violin is going to be named Solis. After a true champion, named after the champion Prosolis. Is everyone ready to meet Solis? Ready? It is time. Exciting, huh? <laughs> Almost there. <laughs> it's it's here. It's here. Wow, it's surprisingly really light. <sighs> I already love it. I love it already. I love it. Let's open it. Can we get a drum roll? Drum roll, please. Oh my god, it's gorgeous! It's gorgeous! Oh my god! <sighs> Look at that! It is so light! There it is! Free hands! Da -da 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 and then I can't get <laughs> Can we all please drop a lot of heart emotes for Prosolis? Please. <laughs> Big love, Prosolis. Big love to you, my friend.
this is Viper Player Gamer. Thank you. Thanking you all for attending tonight. <laughs> all right, chat. Stay safe. Stay healthy. And stay awesome, Clawsome. <laughs> what do you think, chat? <laughs> Did you laugh? Did you cry? Both? <laughs> I'm gonna post that on all other social media platforms as well. <laughs> Prasoli says, thank you so much, SVG everyone, OMG! <laughs> Some violinists, yes, Nori. Not all. Some can handle it. But I want to be... I just want to have the cool option. <laughs> all the feels! Oh my god. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I did an amazing work with the video. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, Firamiel. <laughs> and thank you, Firamiel, for resubscribing for nine months with a message. What? I'm glad you liked it, chat. Oh my god. <laughs> Who's cutting onions? <laughs> and now I have it forever. Oh, first of all, I'm also gonna send you a, a uh I'm also gonna send you the video file. And I will post it in everywhere. I'll post it on my YouTube channel, I post it in IGTV. I'll post it everywhere. So everyone can appreciate the wonderful, wonderful person that is you. Pro Solis. <laughs> Hi Juji. Yeah, I will, I will. I will play it again later. I'll take both copies. <laughs> you <laughs> You Solis. <laughs> and uh <laughs> I told you, Chocolate, you're gonna have a cameo. <laughs> I do not want storage space, as you <laughs> I do not want for storage space, as you know. <laughs> so many people that began that journey are here today. It's so wonderful to relive it. Oh my god, yes! I, you, you know, Recorder Guy, I've been wanting to... I've been wanting for a long time to, to create this exact video right here. And, you know, if there's no okay, there's no, there was no special occasion to do it. I, you know, I always procrastinate. So I said, okay, we're going to do a Pro Solis night. And tonight is that night. And I'm going to finally make this video because it should be done. It should be done. And <laughs> basing on Pro Solis reactions and your reactions all of you it's totally worth it <laughs> and it did practice it, it did also uh <laughs> polish my uh video editing skills <laughs> to a certain level <laughs> i i'm so glad that you all that you all here to witness that thank you again nick thank you so much new baroque for bringing your community over here so they could learn about this wonderful person that is pro solis can we all spam all the hearts and all the hype emotes for the one and only pro solis champion spam it all 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 the emotes. All the emotes. Hype, 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 hype! Pro Solis Champion! <laughs> are you gonna cry now, Pro Solis? Or are you already crying? <laughs> yes, chat. Spam it all. Spam it all. <laughs> uh, 
I have a gift for you to really kick this off, SPG and the rest of the community. What? 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 <laughs> Prosolis, what a champion! God, Prasalis. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Prasalis, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Prasalis. <laughs> I'm, I'm so hyped. I'm mispronouncing your name. Prasalis. What? <laughs> Crying player gamer, Piramiel, you're having your revenge, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Thank you so much, Prosolis. Oh my god, what a total champion you are. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hundreds. Of... Also, chat, we have a <laughs> community goal. Let me just check one thing. Okay, for some reason, I knew this would happen. <laughs> All right, chat. We have we have a special command right now. So for tonight, I am going to showcase my original compositions, but not just my original compositions because Prosolis, the first time Prosolis requested is my original composition. It's it's a running <clears throat> sorry. It's a running joke in our music community that Prosolis never requests music from music streamers the normal way. But the first time Prosolis did it in our stream, he requested my original composition. And I was like, is that really Prosolis requesting a song? <laughs> And I was like, it, it, it was Brasolis. And he has a very, very nice, very nice way that he said he's requesting my original composition because he wants to advocate for me 
featuring more of my original compositions. And I, I got a bunch. Chat, uh, before I even became a streamer here on Twitch, I've already been a professional composer for 20 years in the Philippines, doing films, ballet plays like this, all the kinds, songwriting, TV jingles, ads. But of course, it's a different thing when you're working for clients and you're, you're working for yourself. And for my own stuff, I usually just want to do video game music because I know that a lot of you enjoy that. But slowly but surely, I've been introducing some of my original compositions on the Twitch stream. And Prosolis noticed. And he is advocating for me to feature more of my original compositions. So tonight is going to be a very special night in which I will not just feature some original compositions. I will feature a full body, a 35-minute ballet played, which I was commissioned before in 2017, called Palace of the Dwarfs. And tonight... I've been blessed. We are we have been blessed tonight that the, the the dance company Ballet Manila has given me permission to feature some of the footage of the dances. Not all. That's the agreement. They 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 allow me to feature just maybe three or four parts of the dance of the entire ballet play, but not the entire thing. Because they're still because the the the, the ballet company is still very uh, very active, and they're still performing this on 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 stage live. So of course, as a courtesy, um, I'm not gonna show. I'm not gonna be able to show the entire thing from start to finish, but only maybe some of the highlights that I think are that will be helped by a visual accompaniment. Yeah. <laughs> So one one minute chat. Let me just fix this. I swear this was working yesterday. I knew it. It was just one simple button. All right. Trashness is happening already. Okay, so tonight I'm going to perform for you the full 35-minute suite, S-U-I-T-E, that is Palace of the Dwarves. In Tagalog, it's Palacio ng Mga Duende because it's a Tagalog, um, it's a Tagalog play, dance play. And this is based on the work of a writer in the Philippines called Severino Reyes, who wrote dozens of children's stories. And a lot of his children's stories got turned into TV shows for children or theatrical plays. And this is just one of the adaptations of his many stories called Palace of the Dwarfs. <sighs> Good night, Yara. I hope you're able to get your eight hours sleep. <laughs> New mixer, who's this? <laughs> By the way, if anyone is uh, losing context, anyone can just use the the the, the word the, the command exclamation palace. So that will give them a bit of a, a backgrounder. <laughs> All right. All right. All right. So let me just tell you. The synopsis of Palace of the Dwarfs. This is basically a remix of the Cinderella story. So the our hero is Yanni. <clears throat> our hero is 
named Yani, and she is uh, a good daughter, but her mom died. So her dad decided to remarry another woman. So she had a stepmom and two stepsisters, but her stepmom and her two sisters were mean to her. So one day she ran away, Yani ran away, and then she found herself in the middle of a mysterious forest because she was being chased by her evil stepmother. So she fell into a ravine. And under that ravine, it's a very dark cave, she met the dwarfs who lived underground and they have a huge, magnificent palace. Palace of the dwarfs. Yanni's dad mysteriously became sick of a mysterious illness. And the dwarfs, they know how to cure Yanni's dad. And the cure is the tears of a magical bird. And that's where the story, that is the, the story, that is the synopsis of the story. So I'm gonna begin, I'm gonna show you now the first two parts of the dance and I will play along to my music. Some of it, some of the parts of the music you've already heard me play here on stream, the one called the village dance. Yeah? So, <clears throat> so here is, for the first time on Twitch, for the first time on stream, I'm now pers pers performing to you. Oh, by the way. Oh, not that, not that. Announcement. <laughs> uh, you can see, I have two. Uh, <laughs> not that. <laughs> for first time here on stream, I'm going to perform for you. Palace of the Dwarfs. Let's go. Here we go. <laughs> Let me just check my volume chat. All right. So this is the opening and the village dance. The opening is some sort of exposition. It also shows the dancer who is the magical bird. And then it transitions to the village dance. The village dance is something like a very opening introduction. Think of it like the opening of Beauty and the Beast. It's like an overview of the village. <laughs> all right, here we go. I hope you also enjoy this prosolis. <laughs> the only reason I, the only reason I found the courage to feature more of my original compositions is because of your avid support of it, prosolis. So this entire night is because of your support. So thank you so much, Prasolis. Here is Palace of the Dwarfs.
and that <clears throat> was the opening exact uh, the exact opening scene of the entire play everyone was happy but at the end yanni our hero she learned that her dad that her father got sick with a strange mysterious illness that i mentioned earlier and that's why the music became sad because she just learned of the news and what exact day it is it's father's day so she sets out on a quest to find the cure for her father but first she must also deal with her evil stepmother thank you so much everyone i'm so glad that you're enjoying this <laughs> Uh, I'm listening to this while doing chores. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prasolis. Uh, Dulce, the, the entire play, um, I really have no control over that. But like I said, it's only being staged by the, the company itself. They own the rights to the dance and the music. They own the rights, performance rights for it, to the music. And it's being staged actively in the Philippines every season. So that's the only, w that's the only place that you can watch it at the moment <laughs> if you visit the Philippines. <laughs> There's really, it's beyond my control. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dulce. And now, imagine the scene. This is Yanni. She is doing house chores. She is cleaning the house. She is cleaning, but she dreams of finding the cure and setting out on an adventure to find a cure for her father. But her stepmom is always making her do these tedious chores. So here is the theme song of Yanni. And she it has lyrics sung by my friend El Elizabeth back in the Philippines. And it's basically saying that uh, this lady is uh, a princess, but she wants to be something more. And this is Yanni's theme. What happens next? So there was Yanni. She was just minding her own business, cleaning chore, cleaning the house, doing the chores she's been told to do while finding a way, thinking of a way, planning to escape so she could find the cure for her father's illness. But in comes the evil stepmother, nagging her again. Do this, do that. <laughs> you can hear it, it changed. It, the, the mood really changed so suddenly. <laughs> exactly, Dulce. So, with that in mind, now our hero Yanni finally decides to do it. She escapes 
the house. But the evil stepmother catches up with her, catches up with her, and she falls into that hole in the forest. What happens next? So here is Habulan or Chase in Tagalog. Yanni falls into the dark ravine. What happens to her? What happens next? What will she find in this ravine? We shall find out right now. But imagine pitch black everywhere. Nothing but darkness. And suddenly, you feel that you are being stalked. You are being watched. You are being followed. By who? By who? We shall find out very soon.
So finally, Yani, spelled Y A N I, by the way, <laughs> not N N Y. Yani finally discovered who was following her. It turns out, it was just a harmless but curious group of dwarfs who lives in this titular palace of the dwarfs. And by the end of the piece, she finally witnessed the glorious, magnificent palace of the dwarfs. And now we shall see the dwarfs and we shall see this palace. <laughs> Are you excited? <laughs> Yes, Eravida, the imagination is a powerful thing. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. I, I'm sorry I cannot catch up so much with chat, but I'm, I'm having an epic time. <laughs> now in the origin story, SVG. <laughs> All right. So here is the piece called Palace of the Dwarfs. As it happens in the palace of the dwarves. Let's go. So it turns out that Yanni was safe. Yanni was safe, but 
her troubles do not end there. The dwarves actually have their own problems as well. <laughs> the dwarves have their own problems to deal with. And they made a deal. They made a deal with Yanni. All right. You help us. We help you. So it turns out that the dwarves are dealing with a witch problem. They are dealing with a witch problem. So, <laughs> it turns out their king, the king of the dwarves, was kidnapped and enslaved by this evil witch of the forest named Ada. So, Yanni, with some of the dwarves, decided to sneak into Ada's lair to rescue the captured dwarves. And you've heard this, you've heard me perform this before on stream, Ada's theme. But for the first time, you're hearing it in the context of the story. So let's go.
And that was Ada's theme. Yanni and the dwarfs were successful in sneaking without getting detected by Ada because she was so busy, I don't know, doing witch business. What do witches do anyway? Do they boil their violins and tin flutes as well? Like another witch that we know from, from Twitch? <laughs> I don't know what, uh, what is traditional witch business. <laughs> but I guess fellow witches will know. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, you can request this. You've been able to request this in, in my stream. It's called Ada's Theme in Under My Originals category. <laughs> Okay, so now we are now at uh, uh, um, leading to the final act of our story. Ada and the dwarves, they, will, they were able to rescue the captured dwarves and restored their king as well. Turns out they were fine. They were just paralyzed under some witchly power. And so... Finally, now comes the part of the story what Yanni really wants to know. How? How can, he cure, how can she cure her father of this mysterious illness? It turns out the dwarves do know how to cure the dad. But it will take another quest. And this quest, Yanni must use a special kind of handkerchief which the dwarves have given to Yanni. And Yanni must venture deeper into the forest to find this magical songbird, a magical healing songbird whose tears, whose crying tears are able to cure any sickness, all sicknesses. The bird's tears are able to cure all Sicknesses. All. It's a panacea. Isn't that what they call a cure-all? A panacea? It cures all sicknesses. Different reverb, right? So this is the part of the story because the entire process is very difficult. So it has a dedicated dance and music for the dwarf just instructing Yanni on what to do. And here, this is called Dwarf's Instructions.
Yes. Finally, with all the determination and all the instru- instructions and all the knowledge that she has, Yanni finally ventures deeper into the forest to find this mysterious bird. Uh, Dulce says, I can't decide I like all the songs. Oh my God, Dulce, so sweet. <laughs> and who? somebody said, Sunny, uh, we still have one, three, uh, yeah, three more songs, three more songs, and then... Yeah, we're nearing the end. We are now in Act 3. So, Yanni ventures deeper into the forest. And she does find... She does find this magical bird. But this magical bird is a little shy, a little coy, a little sassy. Before he even allows anyone to access his powers they must first get to know each other they must dance so she must dance to appease the bird and maybe the bird the magical mysterious bird will decide and judge for himself that yanni is a person of good character and that he will help her for her dad so this is called the bird's theme. The magical bird's theme. I forgot how much key changes I've been using, especially in the, the last one. But yeah, <laughs> the, yes, thank you so much, Prosolis, for convincing me to feature more original compositions. I am enjoying this so much. Thank you so much, everyone, for the applause. Thank you so much. I, I, really, I really appreciate this. I, I really appreciate this. So, Yanni and the bird, finally in agreement decides to work together to save Yanni's sick father. But, (laughs) and here's the plot twist. Here's the big 
reveal. So, not only does Yanni have troubles, not only did the dwarf also had troubles, but this bird also has his own issues. It turns out that the bird can talk, but will only talk to a human who he finds worthy. So it's like the Mjolnir of Thor. If you're worthy, I will reveal myself to you. So now, with the bird crying at Yanni's handkerchief, Yanni now has the cure. And now Yanni can actually go back and cure her father. But it doesn't end there. Because Yanni is such a good-hearted person, she decides to listen to the bird. And it turns out, only a person worthy can pluck a very specific feather in the bird, and something will happen. So, will Yanni help the bird? Will she pluck that feather to help this mysterious creature? Let us find out. In, because this is the third part. This is the, the part of the stream where I'm going to show you the third and the last ballet footage that I was allowed to use. So here we go. This is called The Transformation. There we go.
what a twist. What a twist. Did you understand what happened at the end? Yanni plucked that specific feather and the bird in a magical transformation that was very chaotic and super, super well choreographed with all those feathers flying in. That's such an amazing choreography by my friend, Gerardo Francisco of Ballet Manila. He did all that. So it's a collaboration between me and him. But that transformation, at the end, it turns out that the bird was actually a long lost prince from a neighboring kingdom who was cursed into this bird form and only a true hearted person with true love can remove this curse and yani is that person who removed the curse what a coincidence right how convenient <laughs> very very fairy tale very very fairy tale characteristic <laughs> so the magical bird turns out to be a prince and they already bonded together in the forest so what happens next <laughs> is a romantic dance between the two of them and then the finale which is everyone is happy the entire village the entire kingdom is dancing.
and they all lived happily ever after with the dad deciding to leave the evil stepmother once he learned how much the stepmother was such a bad abuser to Yanni. And that is the Palace of the Dwarfs. And I want to show you a little bonus. <laughs> if I can find it. One moment, chat. <laughs> uh, a little bonus that I want you to see. If, uh, if I don't even know if it's... I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I don't know if it's part of the video that I have. But <laughs> we shall see. We shall see. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Um, that Yeah, that is... My original composition. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> oh, it looks like I can't. Uh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Maybe I'll show it another time. But yeah, <laughs> awesome. That was amazing. Thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you, Turco. Thank you, Dulce. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Prosolis. Oh my God, Prosolis, Prosolis. This, this, me deciding to feature. An entire composition suite of mine. This would never happen if you really weren't uh, very supportive of my original work. So <laughs> this is this is this is because of your support, Prosolis. Thank you so much. Have you wrote a new original, or are you interested in getting back into writing originals again? Oh, Pie Fluff. If you mean if I'm compose uh, back to composing, I've always I've always been writing compositions. I'm always. I'm always recording new compositions. I have clients here and there, especially from back in the Philippines. In fact, I just wrapped a production of a new film. It's a Filipino film about a Japanese boxer called Jensan. Jensan Punch. And I wrote the music for it. And I, they are going to submit it for the Tokyo Film Festival. Um, also, I saw some questions about where you can watch the entire Palace of the Dwarfs. Um... It's like, think of it like Broadway. If it's still active on stage, it's not always that they're going to make a video or a movie version of it. So for now, all I can say is you can only watch the full Palace of the Dwarfs live in the Philippines when Bali Manila decides to show it again in one of their new seasons. <laughs> The amount of work that went into that is amazing. Thank you, Recorder Guy. I think I was writing the entire music for like three to five months back and forth with the director, with the dance director, who is my friend. That was so awesome. SVG, thank you so much, Sunny. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, wow, I feel like we've been losing a lot of awesome music. SVG should share these things with us more often. We know you're awesome, of course, and we will support it. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, I'm always... You know, I, I would chalk it up to chalk it up to imposter syndrome, of course. <laughs> the enemy of everyone. Imposter syndrome. Um I still I still have this feeling in my head that uh if I base my 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 music on string player gamer mostly on original compositions that nobody's gonna come and listen and they will just gonna leave. Oh we want the covers, we want the Mario's and the Zeldas <laughs> But uh, with you guys, and especially you, Prosolis, um, really showing your support for my original work, and especially with how you're all vibing tonight, it's really encouraging. It's really encouraging. Oh, nice. That is cool to hear you're still doing composition work for movies and plays. For plays, not so much. Mostly movies and some documentaries, but most of those are for clients, and most of them have you know NDAs or or uh, signing of rights. So th there's a there's an adage in music production: it's compose and forget. So I compose for for a client, they pay me upfront, and then I give them the music, they own it fully, and I forget about it. It's it's part of a work for hire it's a uh, it's a uh, it's part of the work for hire culture so yeah that was beautiful string player gamer thank you so much era vida thank you so much chocolate says that was incredibly cool cool genome says may we get another pro solis night there is your other ballet piece to explain and show yeah that is an even longer ballet 
which is two hours long. That is not the sequel to the to Palace of the Dwarfs, but it's just the second uh, the second time I worked with Ballet Manila as a solo composer. Sunny Smam Viv, I have to go to bed, but that made my weekend. Thank you so much, Prosolis, for the sub. Thank you so much for being here, Sunny. I always like it. Also, the song Turbo and Fly are so good. Oh, thank you so much, Circle Machine. Thank you so much, Dark Saturn. I would love to see more of this too. It was really fun to watch and hear these pieces. Thank you for sharing it with us. You're welcome, Pyfluff, and thank you so much for being nice. Thank you again, Nick, for, for, your, for your raid. It was amazing. SVG, your originals are incredible. Oh, Oh my god, thank you so much, Isabel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, kind of like programmers and code, you sign a contract, you code the stuff for the client, and you cannot ever share it unless you create open source code or get some license permission. Exactly, exactly, Dulce. It's the it's that's such is the nature of a work for hire. I'm looking forward to that new piece that you told us about. I can actually share some of it, Geek Violinist, if you're interested. I have a work in progress, kind of. It's I have a work in progress version of it. It's not yet done. It's not yet finished. It's 2 minutes 46 seconds long, but I want to make it into something like 4 minutes. But if you want, I can play along with it for you. Sneak peek hype. Would you, would you be interested? Uh, because... Uh, to give you some context, uh, when Geek Violinist, oh no, sorry, duh, what, what, a, what a grave error, Geek Violinist, no, when Firamiel was starting to showcase her liar in her streams, she played a piece called Brian Boru's March, a traditional Scottish Irish piece, and uh, when I first heard that piece, it inspired me uh, to the melody of the piece and the chord progression. It inspired me to come up with my own musical idea based on what she performed. And she posted it on TikTok and we duetted it. We, we did a duet of it and we even performed it together in our first ever collab. In, no, in my first collab in, in Firamiel's channel when she was Taf Kag. The artist formerly known as Geek Violence and Hedekins and Daddykins. Uh, Hedekins and Daddykins, thank you so much for the 1337 tip. Uh, he Hedekins says, Thank you for a lovely concert for Father's Day. Speaking of, happy fa Father's Day, SVG. As usual, your own compositions are amazing, and we had such a lovely time listening in. Enjoy the rest of your night, friend. Oh, Hedekins, thank you so much. I didn't even know that you were here so much. Thank you so much, Hedekins. That is so sweet. <laughs> All right, all right. A new composition, work in progress, sneak peek. It doesn't even have a title yet, so maybe it's right now it's just codenamed medieval composition. <laughs> so maybe uh, you can help me come up with a title, maybe? <laughs> oh, the question mark lab. Got it, got it. Sorry about that. The entire night was so hyped. It's because of Prosolis. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, also, has no one changed the light? Oh, because it's disabled. Oh my God, I'm very sorry about that. Title, th title, title theme. <laughs> oh, nice, Heathikins. Say hello to your dad for me. Hello, hello, Daddykins. <laughs> okay. Okay, so here is Medieval Composition work in progress no title yet <laughs> no wonder it wasn't turned on the software wasn't turned on that's why anyway all right now you can use the lights if you want all right medieval composition very work in progress lots of instruments missing i don't even know what those instruments are i will decide on them much much later but part of my process is I come up with a fresh idea, and that fresh idea is inspired by Geek Violinist's performance. Oh, sorry, Firamiel's performance. Have to have to get used to that. Um, and I came up with a derivative melody slash harmony based on that piece. And I immediately wrote down 
in MIDI, the, 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 the one that came in my head. And I have a part A and a part B, but I think I'm still missing a part C, like a final finale part. And that is why I kind of pause for a bit because I'm going to listen to this on repeat and then maybe my subconscious mind will trigger another idea for it. All right. Whew. That was it so far. <laughs> New composition sneak preview. This feels very much like a cost of victory type of emotion where you won but recognize the loss too. Oh my God, Talidar, that is a very, very deep analysis of it. That's nice. I like it. <laughs> I will consider that. <laughs> oh my God, did Code and Tie stream at 224,000 points already? <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Rachel Grace, violin! Thank you so much for the seven-month subscription. And Rachel Grace, welcome back to Twitch. We all miss you. I'm so happy that you're here. How are you doing? Great stream today. I was lurking for some part of it. <laughs> awesome composition. Oh, thank you so much, Piramiel. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, I, I'll play one more composition for you. This is from the other ballet play that I wrote. Uh, this is called The Theme of Ibong Adarna. So Ibon is Tagalog for bird. So this is the bird from Adarna. The Philippine folklore has lots of, lots, has lots of fairy tales or folk tales that have sentient animals. So there's lots of fables and folktales from the Philippine folklore where the lesson is be kind to animals because they could be a magical creature and they will punish you. That is pretty much <laughs> that is pretty much 
a general uh, overview of most Philippine folklore. It's either a sentient plant, a sentient animal, and there's an evil character in the story, and they did evil things to the tree or to the bird or to whatever animal. So they got punished. In the meantime, the hero is kind to the animal, so they rewarded the hero. Something like that. That is a brief summary of... Uh, that is pretty much what most Philippine folklore is. Most of the children's stories from, from uh, Philippines, that is a, a, a very, a very <laughs> simplified, oversimplified overview, overview but <laughs> still, it's, it's, it's not far off. <laughs> uh, thank you for an excellent night of music and good spirits, SVG. Thank you so much, Cyber Waffle House. And Rachel Grace Violin says, Hi, Epic Player Gamer. No, you, Rachel Reg Legend Violin. Hello. Rachel Legend says, oh, it looks like my laptop might be a gunner. Oh, my God. Press F. I hope you saved all the files there and all the files are, are, are not missing. I mean, <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a total shame. All right. Let's. Okay. This is, this is the theme song from the bird from Adarna, the songbird of Adarna. This is. Uh, simplified arrangement for piano and voice and it is sung by my friend uh, uh, amazing soprano Jean Vicars from the Philippines not that
Okay, that that last one wasn't part of it, but yes. <laughs> That was called the Songbird of Adarna from my other two-hour play, two-hour ballet play called The Bird from Adarna. Yes, geez, the voice. It is an amazing, uh, that, 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 uh, that is my friend, amazing, amazing operatic singer, uh, Jean Vicars from the Philippines. And her day job is, she is a voice coach for some Oh, so, for a lot of Filipino celebrities. Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. SVG. Oh my God. Thank you so much for Solis. I have one more. I, I, I have a, um, maybe a bunch more of original works that I want to play. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. GFP Solution for the five month sub. Rooket Min. Thank you so much for the $30 tip. Oh my God. Thank you so much. What, what champions. <laughs> All right. Um, this it is called. This is called, uh, let, let me just check if it, this is the one. Oh, yeah. So this is called a forest, the mysterious forest where the hero of the journey finds a tribe of sentient monkeys and then a tribe of sentient fireflies. So many mysterious magical creatures that the hero meets in a span of eight minutes. Thank you so much, Genome. All right, this is Ibong Adarna's Forest.
Okay. <laughs> that was an entire forest suite from The Bird from Adarna. I'm going to play one last before we do something else. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Prosolis. Thank you so much. Um, SVG is a video game, says Rachel Grace Violet. Yeah, exactly. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like in a video game when I listen to SPG's music, I mean, video game music is super embedded in my soul, in my mind, in my heart. So I will forever be influenced by video game music and I fully embrace. I fully embrace video game music. Yo, Bohimar, and yes, Baby Mage, thank you so much for the the overtime, re- uh, the, 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 the overtime reminder. <laughs> How are you all doing, chat? Are you enjoying? I hope you are. <laughs> um, this next one is still from Ibong Adarna. This is probably kind of Pirates of Caribbean. Same, same energy. <laughs> I think there is another version of that. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh, yes, this one. This is the monkey dance. This is the monkey dance. Okay, I'll play this last. This is the monkey dance. <laughs> Thank you so much, Bohimar. Quest time? Yes, Eravida. Love hearing the original composition. Thank you so much, Bohimar. Thank you so thank you so much. That means a lot.
Yes. I love all your visualizations. Turco feels like it's a Disney movie. Feels like running. And now we stop running and we're resting in an oasis or something like that. Yes. Uh, exactly. This is Ibon Adarna is kind of inspired by the Arabian Nights. So there's definitely an Arabian-like setting in it. <laughs> it but it is uh, an epic poem by a national artist of the Philippines named Francisco Balagtas. He's one of the revered poets from Philippine literature. And yeah, kind of like a Plato, kind of like a Socrates of the Philippines, something like that. And his work, Ibong Adarna, The Bird from Adarna, has been adapted so many times into books, films, TV shows, movies. And this uh, interpretation of the Ballet Manila is just one of the many interpretations, again, of the original source material. This stream is one for the record books in terms of epicness. Oh my God. Thank you so much, Prosolis. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> um, now that you're interested in, in hearing more of my compositions for the stream, I will definitely pick and choose a lot more of it uh, to add to the song list. Uh, progressively, definitely a lot more from Palace of the Dwarfs. Probably, probably the monkey dance as well. <laughs> the one that I just played. I think that's a fun melody for any occasion. And it, if it, it, if it gave you, if it gave you some banjo kazooie vibes, that's a serious compliment. Thank you so much. How many subs has Prosolis given to the community? Oh my God. Prozillion, Sozillion, Lissillion. <laughs> that is a hilarious poll. Who, who did that? Thank, thank you so much. Oh, oh, was it you, <laughs> Firamiel? Very good job, good job. <laughs> Champion Firamiel, thank you so much for making that poll. <laughs> All right, I'm going to vote. I'm going to vote. <laughs> Um, thank you so much, Prosolis, for supporting the entire community. Thank you so much for supporting and giving uh, feedback to my original compositions. It is because of you that I... It is because of you that I, I got the encouragement to feature more original compositions. But also, um, we also have a lot... A lot of other supporters of my original work here in chat as well, like you, Firamiel, and Genome, and Recorder Guy. I know you appreciate my original composition. And Bohimar and Hawk6 Phoenix as well, because I know they are fellow composers. So I really, really appreciate this uh, show of support. And, you know, it's, it's not always easy for composers to be always featuring their work because... You know, it, it takes a lot of, I don't know, a sense of validation for you e for composers to even have the courage to perform their own work. Because covers, that already has a pre-existing fan base. Zelda covers, Mario covers. There's millions of Mario fans, millions of of uh, Zelda fans all over the world. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's sometimes the safer path to be doing covers as a full-time musician. And the compositions kind of become a passion project. But now uh, I can feel that you are all enjoying this, so I will definitely be adding a lot more compositions for 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 the, for the song list. It was an amazing original. I know what you mean. Thank you so much, Smiling Dinosaurs, and great name, Smiling Dinosaurs. Wait a minute, is this poll rigged? <laughs> are you doing all all equal? <laughs> this is. This is the funniest poll ever. I have to screenshot this. Oh my god. Everyone. Oh no, New Baroque spent 200 stringy points <laughs> to ensure that everything is everything is equal. Okay. If there's a rigged 
poll, Parlog, this, 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 this. That is the rigged poll. That right there is the rigged poll, Parlog. You've been accusing every poll of being rigged. Well, now you can see it. This is a rigged poll. But for good reason. <laughs> Thank you so much, Rachel, for contributing to the Coat and Tie Stream Challenge. Thank you all for contributing to the Coat and Tie Stream Challenge. My bespoke suit is arriving in a week. Oh, also, Turka Machine, speaking of Disney, speaking of Disney songs, I do have a tip goal right here. And if we reach that tip goal someday, I'm going to do a Disney, a Disney stream, uh, an entire Sunday of Disney songs. Of some arrangements by my friends. So yeah, get hyped for that as well. <laughs> I'm I'm looking for wait, well, let me just check if there's something more. Oh, I wanna show something to Geek Violinist. Oh so, to Fear ML. I'm sorry. Dark Saturn says bye, SPG and chat. Take care. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh Dark Saturn for being here. Yes, Yara and I will karaoke to the Disney SPG. Okay. Delio. There's something I want to show Firamiel because she's been egging me to show this. Firamiel was wanting to me to show... Firamiel has been uh, requesting me to show my uh, Filipino bamboo flutes. Actually, I only have I only have two bamboo Filipino flutes, but I don't have the 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 the, the nose flute. I don't have uh, yeah. SPG just put a shirt tonight for Pro Solis tribute. Yeah, I wear I wore a collared shirt, a col collared shirt for Pro Solis. I don't usually. I don't usually wear a collared shirt for anything, any except for special occasions like when I would watch a show at the Kennedy Center. That's when I would wear or where I would attend uh, film festivals in L.A. or in Washington, D.C. That's when I were, would wear a collared shirt. But <laughs> for a pro solace night, definitely a special occasion. Okay, Fira Miel. So here is... Here are, here, this is called uh, Piri from the Philippines. This is a bamboo flute from the southern parts of the Philippines. And the other one is also another type of Piri. This is also another type of Piri from another ethnic group from the Philippines. So the Philippines is 7,107 islands small islands collected in an archipelago and each island has their own dialect has their own inflections of their language and they also have their own ethnic groups of artists and musicians it's a collection of i would say small tribes that became united to become a one whole country and that is the philippines in a nutshell that is like the di diaspora of the philippines so this, uh, these two flutes are from the southern parts of the Philippines, and I will play it for you now. This particular flute, actually, this is what I use for some of my more folk film scores, folk-sounding film scores.
Yeah, that was theory number one. And it's only got four holes. So one hole behind and three holes in the front. And the other one has more holes. Uh, six holes. It's more like a recorder, I, I would say. Six hole recorder. But this is also a common, a commonly uh, associated flute. Some of it, a similar flute can also be found in Malaysia and Indonesia. Because a lot of the Philippines, South, especially the Southeast Asian countries, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, and Philippines, they all have similarities when it comes to the traditional instruments. And this is one of those. This is another bamboo flute. So imagine a scene where um, a tribal hunter in a forest is stalking his prey, the enemy being stalked by the hunter. And this is the music that plays. I have scored several of those kinds of scenes in some of the film scores that I have worked on. It is called, no, the suling is a bit different. There's so many variations of the flutes and the instruments in the Philippines. And... Uh, another uh, instrument that I want to show you is the kubing. K-U-B-I-N-G. It is the local term for a jaw harp. Kubing. So I have two bamboo jaw harp here. This one is the smaller one, the junior. I don't know. So here we go. This is the kubing. It is a bamboo jaw harp. You, if you can notice, I am making vowel formations in my mouth. That is al that also helps. That also helps uh, with the uh, with the uh, with the uh, the sound quality. Uh, I pluck it and then I breathe out and breathe in, and it makes the sound a bit louder. All right, thank you so much, Genome. Thank so thank you so much for staying so long, Genome. I appreciate you being here, but guten Nacht. And thank you so much. Enjoy your sleep. Uh, what was that? Tribal SVG. <laughs> this is what I'm seeing. Firamiel. Definitely smog player gamer. <laughs> yep. And now, that was the small S-M-O-L Joe Harp. I have an even larger one. And it even has more intricate design look at that uh, cover my eyes okay
Come on, camera. What happened? What happened to your magical... Oh, there we go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> ah, there we go. Can you see the bamboo, the, the carving? I What I got is the unpainted version, but... It also comes painted with different yellows, blues, reds, and green hues. Yeah. So I'm going to play this larger Joe Harp. Oh, the reverb. Okay. That is an example of how I would create film scores for my film work in the Philippines. <laughs> I was definitely ready for some soothing music today. <laughs> it was a nice, very nice instrument. You know, I was eyeing a metal Joe Harp. Yes, Firamiel, I remember very well. That is also why I brought out <laughs> the smogness in me and brought out that. <laughs> I brought out that uh, Joe Harp. <laughs> All right. All right. I think it's time, chat. 
thank you so much again, everyone, for being here. I really enjoyed sharing with you my, well, not exactly hidden world, my hidden, hidden world on Twitch world of my original compositions because a lot of my original compositions, especially the entire Palace of the Dwarfs or the Ibong Adarna, it's all on Spotify under my full name, my real name, Diwa De Leon. So if you want to hear some of my original work for my Hegelong, for my other works, some of it are those, those that I'm allowed to, of course, are in my Spotify under Diwa De Leon. Sorry. <laughs> but yes, thank you so much, Prosolis. Heg along stream when? Someday. <laughs> but we, we sometimes do that. Maybe I will put Heg along stream in, I don't know, uh, another event. I, I want to mic it better <laughs> someday. All right. <laughs> What is a Diwa de Leon? Thank you so much, Prosolis. Thank you again for the 100 gift subs. Oh my God, you total champion. Absolutely incredible night. Thank you for the great stream and original music. I really enjoyed hearing your work and I'm looking forward to hearing more in the future. Oh my God, thank you so much, Bohimar. Uh, also fellow composer Bohimar and fellow composer Hawk Six Phoenix. It is my great pleasure to be performing and sharing for you, my original composition. So thank you. So <laughs> Where's your heart? Thank you so much. A non-miserable little pile of secrets. <laughs> let's read that in. Uh, let's read that in. Uh, let's read that in Castlevania speak. What is a Diwa de Leon? A non-miserable little pile of secrets. <laughs> Good job, musical. This was a beautiful stream, String Player Gamer. Congratulations, Prosolis. Thank you so much. Hearing your compositions helped give me some motivation to pick up composing again myself. Yes! Please, Hawk Six Phoenix. I love listening to your compositions in your streams and definitely would love to hear some more from the piano shredder. That is Hawk Six Phoenix. <laughs> All right. As usual, our traditional ending song is Cass's theme. Even if it's a composition night, I will still end with Cass's theme. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much. Lo lovely, lovely, amazing mod team. Um, uh, uh, Firamiel, thank you so much for that poll. <laughs> thank you so much, everyone, for voting, for, for, for contributing your points to the Coat and Tie stream. We also have a Disney tip goal, which is uh, uh, coming soon. Well, I mean, not, not soon, when, when it happens. But first, singing stream will happen. Singing stream has already been tip gold. So we're going to do a singing stream when I'm ready, which may be two weeks from now, hopefully. Maybe I will combine the coat and tie stream with the singing stream. I don't know. We, we'll, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So thank you, Baby Mage, Firamiel, Hawk Six Phoenix, and the Black Lad Wanderer for being here as part of our lovely mod team. Mod team. Mod team. Original ending composition. <laughs> Ushiyasha, thank you so much for being here. I, I forgot to say hi to you. Thank you, SPG, for sharing another part of your musical work with us. Dulce, thank you so much. I have tons of... I have so much music uh, so much of my musical life that i haven't even shared here on twitch or anywhere on the internet like for example i would write very cheesy uh songs or jingles for for products for, for advertisements of philippine products for radio or tv <laughs> it's so cheesy you won't even think spg wrote this <laughs> Because I can be a very, very effective chameleon when I just write what the client requires. <laughs> String player gamer, what is your command or you to have a link of your works like you shared the other day? Uh, for now, I think it's better to just use Spotify, exclamation Spotify. Oh, for the original, I will, I, will, I will create another one for that. But yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's so cheesy. It's ah the cheesiest of the cheese. <laughs> but yes, 
I I don't know if you would you if you would make me approximate how many pieces I've written in my entire life. Original pieces. Probably close to 2000. Close to 2000 pieces that I've originally written since I started writing professionally in 1998. No, no, 1999. Sorry. I started writing my own music when I was high school, 1993, 1994. But my first official composition was when I was five years old. I was noodling something on the piano and my dad decided to notate it. And I remembered how to do noodle it again. And that is my first original composition. <laughs> I would even shout. I would even shout to the entire house. Hey, I, I wrote this music and nobody would believe me until my dad validated it. Oh, yeah, Deepa wrote it. <laughs> so I, was like, I think it's like a four or five bar composition that I was noodling in the piano. And my dad was like, hey, that sounds like music. That sounds like music. I'll try to remember it, Dulce. <laughs> SRSPG five year old composition, five bars. <laughs> I will try to remember it. Um, something. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you so much for, uh, for being here, everyone. Thank you so much, my friends. Thank you so much, champions. Thank you so much, Pro Solace. <laughs> my my new reverb is much better than my, than my old one. Thank you for an amazing stream, SVG. I love every minute of it. Also, I'm gonna be posting that Prosolis. I'm gonna be posting the Prosolis tribute video on uh, first on Instagram. So for those of you who missed it, I will post it on in, on my Instagram, String Player Gamer. It's going to be an IGTV post because it's 12 minutes long. <laughs> yes. Prosolis, champion. Thank you so much. Um, also, did I tell you that this is not the first, uh, this is not going to be the last Prosolis night? Did I tell you that? We're going to have, we are going to have a lot more Prosolis nights in the future. I'm just going to think of more epic things to do for future upcoming prosolis nights and um uh firamiel says thank you for your beautiful music oh thank you so much firamiel and thank you prosolis for being such an amazing supporter of so many channels especially this one yes oh my god <laughs> i, I want to see something let me see let me see uh prosolis 558 gift subs what 558 gift subs what holy <laughs> i love that your hat matches your violin nori loxic everything i buy everything i wear is all planned and color schemed <laughs> i'm always scheming scheming player gamer <laughs> anyway cast esteem our ending song
Thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Thank you so much, Pro Solis. Keep being you. Keep being this amazing, amazing person that we all know and love. Can we all spam all the hypest emotes once again? One more time for Pro Solis. Pro Solis. Pro Solis. However, your name is properly pronounced. I know there's many inflections and manhands Lizzy. Manhands Lizzy. Manhands Lizzy. Thank you so much for the seven month resubscription, Manhans Lizzy. I hope I, I'm I'm glad you were able to catch Zawa's lament. Great stream, SVG. We enjoyed it so much. Nobody triggered OT. I I think they did. <laughs> Harry Mun, thank you so much for the raid. You're just in time for another raid. We will definitely uh, keep your. Uh, we will definitely save a priority request for you on Wednesday or Friday if you're able to attend the Violin Request stream. But can we give a shout out for Harry Munn with a party of eight? Thank you so much for your raid, Harry. And I hope your stream went well. <laughs> Thank you for choosing me. Thank you for choosing our community. All the hypest emotes for ProSolis, please. All the hypest emotes. Now, let's look for somebody to raid. Hope you had a good stream. I hope you had a good stream too, Harry. What were you streaming, by the way? Tell us a little something about yourself why I look for somebody to raid. <laughs> so many so many new friends. Hello, welcome in. I am String Player Gamer. I am a violinist, composer, and arranger who is super obsessed with video game music that it is now my full-time career just for the past 30 years 30 yeah 30 years <laughs> i lose count sometimes all right ah ah okay i know who to raid and i'm gonna request right away <laughs> i'm gonna request right away when we raid this person who has always been an avid supporter of our community and one of my favorite streamers to watch. In fact, I would consider her my comfort stream. Usually play some Skyrim. Oh, nice. Uh, Harry Man, uh, just because of your raid, let me play. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but I can play that the full version for you if you're able to attend a Wednesday or Friday stream where I do the violin requests. As recorder guy, that was every hype emote. <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you so much, Prasolis. We are going to raid Izzy Paradox, one of my favorite streamers. <laughs> that was clearly all the hype. <laughs> all right. Uh, it's Harry Mun's birthday. Happy birthday, Harry. Let me just check if I miss anything. Oh, also happy Father's Day to you, SPG. Thank you so much. No, Jalen. Firamiel, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, about the OT. Yes. Firamiel. Firamiel did OT and Parlnok did OT. I mean, it is there for a reason. I put the OT command for a reason because I I constantly need reminding that I'm getting overtime. Like now. Okay, okay. A anyway, thank you so much, everyone. My name is String Player Gamer. I want you all, especially you, Pro Solis, especially you, to please, 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 please stay safe, stay healthy, stay awesome. And stay Clawson. I am String Player Gamer. I will see you again on Wednesday for our regular violin request streams, of which I will be adding some more of my original compositions, especially those that you enjoyed tonight. I will be re-watching the VOD, and I'm going to see which ones you are really reacting to the most, and I might be adding those ones. 
Thank you so much. Hugs. Hugs to everyone. Hugs to ProSolis. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go raid Izzy Paradox. We are going to raid Izzy Paradox. I hope you can stay in for the raid because Izzy Paradox is an amazing piano player. She plays all music. <laughs> all right. There we go. And I'm going to I'm immediately going to request Johann Strauss. <laughs> Thank you, SPG, for the stream. And thank you, for ProSolis, for all your support. Yes, Hawk6 Phoenix, I totally agree. <sighs> Such a feel-good stream. Oh. <laughs> we need an OOT comment. <laughs> oh, over overtime. <laughs> thank you, Doug and ProSolis. Yes, Doug. I am Doug. It's one of the many names that only Geek Valley... <laughs> Firamiel is allowed to use. <laughs> I need to stop calling you Geek Violinist. Alright. Rating easy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 